everyone, I'm Kier from the Best of Hockey and in today's video we will be looking at the top 10 most irrelevant NHL players today. Now if the title seems a little broad, it really is, so bear with me. Um, but how I've determined this is that they all have to be active players and they all have to be over the age of 24 because players under that age could be prospects that just take longer to develop than others. Um, they also have to have played more uh, in the NHL than in the AHL over the past couple of years. They have to not put up many points or have awful save percentages and goals against uh, and losses. Uh, they could also have few points with massive contracts or are players that have fallen off a cliff. Uh, they could also be high draft picks but have resulted in nothing special. But the thing they all have in common is they all are at the bottom of the NHL. The dead bottom. Now before we begin, a huge shout out to Rasmus Dahlin, P.K. Subin, Louis Erickson, Frosted Tips, Adam Larson, Cody Can't Defend and Shane Goss Despair, who has just recently been assigned to the AHL for being the most well-known NHL players to almost make this bottom tier list. Okay, so at 10th there is Slater Cuckoo. Now he is playing for the Chicago Blackhawks and he's 26 years old, drafted 10th overall in the 2012 draft, which is known for being one of the worst drafts in NHL history. He's a defensive defenseman and he didn't really put up many numbers when he was playing in uh, junior um, and he certainly didn't translate that when he started playing in the NHL uh, as the most points he's ever put up in a season is eight and he's done that twice in his NHL career uh, and he doesn't really uh, add much to the Blackhawks as he only plays third line minutes so Slater Cuckoo takes our number 10th spot for that reason. Coming in at number 9 is Brett Ritchie. Now he plays for the Boston Bruins and is 26 years old and he was drafted 44th overall in the 2011 NHL draft. Now while he was in the OHL and in the AHL he put up solid numbers but he could never translate that to the NHL um, as he has steadily decreased his points totals over his uh, NHL career and the most points he's ever put up in an NHL season was 24 in 2017 and he's decreased uh, to the point that now he's been demoted to the AHL. At number eight we have our first goaltender which is Michael Hutchinson. Um, at 29 years old he plays for the Toronto Maple Leafs however he was drafted uh, 77th overall by the Boston Bruins in 2008 um, and at first he had a relatively solid career with the Winnipeg Jets uh, from 2014 to 2018 he put up decent numbers, uh, he got quite a few wins, um, although he still had more losses. However, he's really dropped off uh, during the last two years. Um, with Florida, he was pretty terrible, um, and with Toronto, uh, from last year to this year, uh, he's been pretty bad and has been spending his time in between the NHL and the AHL. Dale Weiss comes in as her seventh pick, he's 31 years old. Uh, drafted in 2008, 111th overall, um, and he plays for the Montreal Canadiens. Um, when he entered the league, he began to have a solid career. Uh, the most points he put up was in 2014-15, where he put up 29 points in 79 games. However, ever since, he's really dropped off. And this year, uh, he only has 4 points in 16 games and has been demoted to the AHL. And it's not good when you have uh, a contract of $2.35 million uh, for somebody who's burning in the AHL. And at 31 years old, it doesn't look like he has much left in the NHL. At number 6, our second goaltender of the video, Martin Jones. He's 30 years old, he's an undrafted player, and he's had a very good NHL career up until last season. Uh, he's won a Stanley Cup before and is making a lot of money. Uh, however, last year things started to take a turn for the wrong direction as his numbers decreased tremendously and this year they've decreased even more. Um, and it's not good to see um, a very good NHL goalie turn into something just average at best when he's been paid $5.75 million. Alright, at number 5, Curtis Lazar. 
He's the youngest player on this list, 25 years old, and was drafted by the Ottawa Senators in 2013 at 17th overall, which was a huge mistake. Uh, he's still relatively young, so maybe he'll change his NHL career around. However, he really hasn't had a good career uh, ever since he's joined the league. The most points he's put up in a season was 20 in 2016, and in 2017 he completely fell off the map, uh, one point in 33 games, and ever since he's been battling to stay in the NHL as he's been uh, playing in the AHL and the NHL. At number four, Luke Shen. He's 30 years old and he was drafted fifth overall in 2008. That's a big yikes. This guy was a bust. But really, uh, he began his NHL career pretty solid. Uh, he put up 22 points twice uh, in 2011 and in 2012. And he was relatively solid until the 2017 season where he only put up 8 points. And ever since, uh, has been just awful in the NHL. Um, and his situation is a little strange because he's really bad in the NHL, but he's really good in the AHL. So where do you put him? If he's too good in the AHL, then you put him in the NHL where he struggles. Um, but if you put him in the AHL, then he lights it up. So he's in a very bad situation right now, and hopefully he can turn things around. Moving into our top three, it is Zach Rinaldo. Uh, he's 29 years old and was drafted in 2008 at 178th overall. And uh, surprisingly, he turned out to be an NHL player. The unfortunate news, he never turned out to be a great NHL player. Uh, Zach Ronaldo was never supposed to put up many points. He could be seen as an enforcer or a goon. Uh, in fact, in his first NHL season, he racked up uh, 232 penalty minutes. Um, and he's never looked back. However, Zach Ronaldo has never put up over nine NHL points in a season. In fact, the most points he's put up was in his rookie year. Um, and really, ever since, he's been battling for a spot in the NHL. Uh, and he's quite often sent down to the AHL, uh, where he helps the young guys develop. Corey Schneider takes the silver medal on this list just like the U.S. does every time they face Canada at the Olympics. <clears throat> uh, he's 33 years old. He is 26th, drafted 26th overall by the Vancouver Canucks in 2004, and he's had a very good NHL career up until 2016-17. Uh, his numbers started to decrease, and ever since, he's really fallen off of a cliff, uh, especially last season. And in fact, this year, he's so bad that... He has zero wins and has a 4.65 goals against per average with a 8.52 save percentage. And those are some very, very bad numbers. Uh, those kind of numbers don't belong in the NHL. And in fact, he's been sent down to the AHL uh, several times in the last three seasons. Oh, and not to mention what to make his uh, NHL career even more irrelevant is that he's been paid $6 million dollars to put up zero wins this year. And finally, for the most irrelevant current NHL player, we have P.K. Su... Oh, Keith Kincaid. Uh, he's 30 years old, uh, and he played for the Montreal Canadiens before being sent down to the AHL because of how bad he was. Um, now, to be fair, uh, he's actually had a very good NHL career uh, up until last season in 2019, where he just completely collapsed. Um, and this season, he was even worse. Uh, now, last year, he had a 3.36 goals against per average with an 8.91 save percentage. And this year in the NHL, he had one win, had a 4.24 goals against per average, and had an 8.75 save percentage. Now, those are some terrible numbers. And... Uh, just like uh, Corey Schneider, he was sent down to the AHL because of his abysmal uh, season. Not to mention that he's being paid $1.75 million to not even play in the NHL. What a waste of money. But at least he is having a solid AHL career. Oh, wait. But that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to drop a like 
and subscribe to the channel if you're new and I'll see you guys next time.